In this demo, we are going to demonstrate how we can regenerate a root token using our recovery keys. So on the screen here, I have a brand new vault cluster up and running. If we do a vault status, you can see that it is not yet initialized and I'm using AWS KMS as our unseal mechanism. So if I clear the screen here with a brand new cluster, well, at this point, you should know that the first thing we need to do is vault operator init. We're gonna go ahead and run that. You look over on the other screen, you can see that it should be doing its thing over here. There's a lot of logs happening, successfully mounted backends, replication, all that good stuff is initializing. So we go back over here and we have our initialization complete. You can see we have our recovery keys, again, because I'm using an auto unseal configuration and we have our root token. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this root token into my clipboard here. And the first thing we're gonna do is do a vault login now at this point, you should know that when you first initialize a vault cluster, well, this root token is the only authentication mechanism we have available to us. We don't have LDAP or Okta or anything like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and log in with this token. We logged in with a root token. Well, what would happen if I did something like this? Vault token revoke, and then I provided our token here. So I'm gonna copy that, provide it here and hit enter. So Vault revoked this token. If we go back over to the logs, you can see that the lease was revoked for our root token. And if we go over here and just try to run a simple command like Vault policy list, well, we get a permission denied because, well, we revoked that root token. Even if I were to hit up a few times to say Vault login, permission denied. That root token is no longer valid. And at this point, I really have no way to log into this vault cluster because I just revoked the only authentication mechanism, our root token. Well, what we need to do is fix that. So what we can do is generate a new vault token using our recovery keys. So if I start off here, vault operator, generate, nope, if I can type here, generate root and then do a dash init it creates our one-time password, which is right here. It also creates our nonce value. You can see that the process is started. We need to provide three keys. It is not yet complete, and just information about our one-time password. Now what we need to do is we need to go ahead and provide our unseal keys in order to regenerate a root token. So the way that we're gonna do that is vault operator generate root, we hit enter, Notice that this nonce value does match, B-A-B-E-8, it matches right there, awesome. Now what we need to do is provide those unsealed keys. So I'm gonna go scroll up here and find our recovery keys. I'm gonna copy the first one to the clipboard and I'm gonna paste that in. Now you see the progress is one out of three. I'm gonna do this two more times, so generate root, scroll back up and grab one of these recovery keys here provide that. So now we have progress two out of three here. And then finally, if I go up and provide one more key, copy that, go ahead and paste that in. And there we go. So what we got is our encoded token. We didn't get our root token yet, but we got our encoded token, which is right here. Now what we need to do is take this encoded token, pair it with our one-time password in order to decode our token, and then we can use that token to log into Vault. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and run a Vault operator, generate root, and now what we're gonna do is provide a couple values. I'm gonna go ahead and just put a line continuation on here just so you can kind of see them. So decode equals, and what we wanna do is tell it what we want to decode. Well, we wanna decode our encoded token right here. So we'll copy that in, line continuation, and now what we need to do is provide our one-time password. One-time password is gonna be equal to what we got when we first initialized our generate root process, which is right here. So I'm gonna copy that into the clipboard, go to paste that down there, close out our quotes, and that's all we need. Hit enter there, and look at that, we've got a new token here. HVS, you should know that HVS is HashiCorp Vault Service Token. So I'm gonna copy that, and now what we can do is a Vault login, provide our token, and there we go. Now we're back into Vault. Vault policy list, look at that, everything works as normal. Vault policy read, oh, forgot the default here. 
There we go. We can read a policy, vault secrets, enable AWS. We can interact with vault again because now we regenerated a new root token somewhere up here. There we go. And we were able to log back into vault with our newly generated token after we provided the recovery keys. So that's pretty much it for this one. This again, this is something that if you are running vault on a day to day basis, this may be something that you have to do every so often if the root token were to be lost or if for some reason you needed to perform some commands on a vault cluster that required either root credentials or this may be something where if you need to perform some configurations on vault, say for example, in the slides we talked about, if somebody puts a firewall between vault and your backend authentication mechanism, or if something just happens to vaults or somebody loses the root token, you can easily use this command or this process to regenerate a new root token, log in with the root token and make the configuration changes that you need to. So that's pretty much it for this lesson. Hopefully it was helpful and I'll see you in the next demo. Thanks.